The ocean has always been a realm of intrigue and untold secrets, a vast, mysterious frontier that holds countless wonders beneath its surface. Every time we dive deeper into its abyss, we uncover things stranger than our wildest imaginations. And recently, scientists stumbled upon something that could completely upend our understanding of life on Earth. Buried 5,000 meters below the pitch-black depths, they discovered a mysterious source of oxygen. Something so unusual that it's been dubbed Dark Oxygen. In 2013, Andrew Sweetman, a researcher from the Scottish Association for Marine Science, was exploring a remote part of the Pacific Ocean called the Clarion Clipperton Zone, a vast underwater expanse stretching between Hawaii and Mexico and covering an area larger than India. This region is dotted with unique rock formations known as polymetallic nodules, rich in valuable metals like cobalt and nickel, which have long attracted the interest of deep-sea mining companies. But doing his research, Sweetman's attention was drawn to something far more astonishing than the metals themselves, a discovery that would lead to one of the most puzzling and potentially revolutionary findings in marine science. During an expedition, Sweetman's team deployed instruments designed to measure oxygen levels on the seafloor. The team expected to see the usual, oxygen levels gradually decreasing as microorganisms consumed it through respiration. Instead, something baffling happened. The oxygen levels in the sealed-off sections of seawater actually increased over time. In other words, something down there was producing oxygen in an environment where, according to everything we know, that shouldn't be possible. At first, the researchers assumed their instruments were faulty. After all, every previous study of deep-sea environments had shown oxygen being consumed, not produced. They set the data aside, chalking it up to bad equipment. But the mystery didn't end there. In 2021, Sweetman returned to the same region, this time using different measurement methods, and once again observed the same strange phenomenon, rising oxygen levels in the depths of the ocean. How oxygen usually works in the deep sea. Most of Earth's oxygen is produced through photosynthesis, a process carried out by plants, algae, and certain types of bacteria. These organisms capture sunlight and, using chlorophyll, convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar and oxygen. This oxygen is then released into the atmosphere or dissolved into the upper layers of the ocean, where it supports a vast array of life. But sunlight can only penetrate the ocean to a depth of about 200 meters under ideal conditions. Below that, in the dark, cold waters of the deep sea, there is no photosynthesis. So, how does oxygen get down there? The answer lies in a slow, global process called thermohaline circulation, where cold, oxygen-rich water from the polar regions sinks to the ocean floor and spreads out across the globe. This process can take hundreds to thousands of years, and it provides a crucial, though limited, supply of oxygen to the deep sea. The Role of Polymetallic Nodules so what could be causing the oxygen production at such depths? The answer might lie in the polymetallic nodules scattered across the seafloor in the Clarion-Clipperton zone. These nodules are not just rocks. They're complex structures that have formed over millions of years as metals from seawater precipitated onto a tiny central core, such as a fragment of a shell or bone. These nodules are valuable for their metal content, but they might also hold the key to this mysterious oxygen production. Sweetman's team hypothesized that the nodules could be acting as a sort of natural battery. In simple terms, under certain conditions, the interaction between saltwater and the metals within these nodules might generate small electric currents. These currents could potentially drive a process known as electrolysis which splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. If this hypothesis is correct, it means that these nodules are producing oxygen in a way that has never been observed in nature before. Testing the hypothesis To test this idea, the researchers recreated the conditions of the seafloor in a laboratory aboard their ship. 
they sterilized samples of the nodules and surrounding sediment to rule out any biological sources of oxygen. They then sealed these samples in airtight containers and monitored the oxygen levels over several days. Sure enough, the oxygen levels rose, just as they had on the ocean floor. But that wasn't all. When the samples were later analyzed in a laboratory at Northwestern University, the researchers discovered something even more surprising. The nodules were generating small but measurable voltages, up to 0.95 volts. For comparison, it takes about 1.5 volts to split seawater through electrolysis, the same amount of energy a standard AA battery provides. This suggests that the nodules could indeed be acting like tiny, natural batteries, producing oxygen through an electrochemical process. This discovery raises more questions than it answers. If these nodules are producing oxygen, what does that mean for the ecosystems of the deep sea? Could these tiny batteries be a crucial source of oxygen for life in the dark depths of the ocean? And what does this mean for deep sea mining, which threatens to destroy these nodules in the search for valuable metals? If these nodules play a critical role in sustaining deep sea life, or even contribute to the global oxygen supply, then mining them could have devastating consequences. The implications of this discovery extend beyond Earth as well. If oxygen can be produced in the deep sea through non-biological processes, it challenges our understanding of where and how life might exist on other planets. For decades, scientists have looked for oxygen as a potential sign of life on distant exoplanets. But if oxygen can be created without life, it complicates our search for extraterrestrial beings. As researchers continue to explore this phenomenon, they're also grappling with its broader implications. The discovery of dark oxygen could reshape our understanding of the deep sea and force us to reconsider the environmental impacts of deep sea mining. It might even lead to new technologies inspired by these natural batteries potentially offering innovative ways to generate clean energy. However, much remains unknown. The mechanisms behind this oxygen production are still not fully understood, and the potential impact on deep-sea ecosystems needs further study. What's clear is that the ocean, once again, has proven to be a place of endless wonder and discovery, reminding us that even in the most remote and inhospitable places, life finds a way. As we continue to explore the depths, who knows what other mysteries we'll uncover. One thing is certain, the discovery of dark oxygen is just the beginning of a new chapter in our understanding of the planet we call home.